Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll go to the altar of God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I confess to God Almighty, to bless Mary of the Virgin, to bless Michael the Archangel, to bless John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints here, brethren, that I sin exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my own fault, by my most grievous fault. Wherefore, may blessed Mary, our virgin, blessed Michael, our angel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, 
All the saints and you, brethren, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant our most pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Will thou not turn again and quicken us, O God, that thy people may rejoice in thee? The Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. The Lord, hear my prayer. Let my prayer be with thee. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, under whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not thou far from me. Haste thee to help me, O Lord, thou strength of my salvation. Pull me not to rebuke, O Lord, in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy heavy displeasure. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not thou far from me. Haste thee to help me, O Lord, thou strength of my salvation. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with us, Spirit. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, look down in mercy on thy people. The we who thou dost command to abstain from carnal food may likewise be delivered from all sins that hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who live in the reign of thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who latest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all those who are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, May obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect commission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth the reign through thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever, one God, world without end. Amen. The lesson from the book of Esther. <coughs> in those days, Mardochius made his prayer unto the Lord, saying, O Lord, Lord, the King Almighty, the whole world is in thy power. And if thou hast appointed to save Israel, there is no man that can gain save thee. For thou hast made heaven and earth, and all the wondrous things under the heaven. Thou art Lord of all things, and there is no man that can resist thee, which art the Lord. And now, O Lord God and King, spare thy people, and their eyes are upon us, to bring us to naught. Yea, they desire to destroy the, destroy the inheritance that has been thine from the beginning. Despise not the portion which thou hast delivered out of Egypt for thine own self. Hear my prayer, be merciful unto thine inheritance. Turn our sorrow into joy, that we may live, O Lord, and praise thy name. Destroy not the mouths of them that praise thee, O Lord our God. Here endeth the lesson. Thanks be to God. O Lord, deal not with us after our sins, nor reward us according to our wickednesses. O Lord, remember not our old sins. But have mercy upon us, and that soon, for we have come to great misery. Help us, O God of our salvation, and for the glory of thy name, O Lord, deliver us, and be merciful unto our sins, for thy name's sake. <clears throat> the Lord be with you, and with thy prayer. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time, Jesus going up to Jerusalem took the twelve disciples apart in the way and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death and to deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify him. The third day he shall rise again. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him, and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She said unto him, 
Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. He saith unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. For the sin on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. It shall be given to them for whom it is prepared for my father. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. It shall make not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Christ. The Lord be with you. And with us, Spirit. Let us pray. Under thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in thee. O let me not be confounded. Neither let my enemies triumph over me, for all they that hope in thee shall not be ashamed. sing my praise and call it on this word. Lord, as I thought they had to sing, those are praise my name. So we can say, there's nothing like you, Lord. This is the only one in righteousness, no great to any God. We can say, there's no need to God. We can sing my praise. You see, Lord, you can't even complain to the job. 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 Right, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice and our hands and praise the Lord's name. To our God, the Lord's church. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord mercifully regard the sacrifices which are offered unto thee, and by this holy communion absolve us from the bonds of our sins. Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. He is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, who by bodily fasting does curb our sinfulness, uplift our hearts, and bestow both virtue and its reward upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, most high in the highest. Almighty and ever-living God, 
who by thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee, most mercifully, to receive these our oblations, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching, beseeching you to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth, the truth of thy holy word and with in unity and godly love. Your grace, only Father, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, especially Shane, our primate, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. We beseech thee all, also to save and defend this our country, and grant to Joe, the President of the United States, to Kim, the Governor of this state, and to all others in civil authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. And we beseech thee so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we commend unto thy merciful goodness this congregation which is here assembled in thy name to celebrate the commemoration of the most glorious death and resurrection of thy holy Son. And here we do give unto thee most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all thy saints from the beginning of the world and chiefly in the glorious and most blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, and in the holy patriarch, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, whose examples, O Lord, and steadfastness in thy faith, and in keeping thy holy commandments, grant us to follow. We command unto thy mercy, O Lord, all other thy servants, who are departed hence from us with a sign of faith, and now do rest in the sleep of peace. These, O Lord, and do all rest in Christ, we beseech you to grant a place of refreshment, of light, and of peace. And God save to grant unto us some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs and with all thy saints, within whose company we beseech thee to admit us. Therefore, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby as one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. We beseech thee to hear us, O merciful Father, and with thy Holy Spirit and word about take to bless and sanctify these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. When the same night that he was betrayed to the bread, and when he had blessed and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. supper he took the cup and when he gave the thanks he gave it to them saying drink ye all of this for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins do this as often as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make it before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. 
entirely desiring that fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept as our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching you to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may gain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that whosoever shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with thy Son, Jesus Christ, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our vow of duty and service, and command these our oblations by the ministry of thy holy angels to be brought up into thy holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As our Savior Christ had commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us, we beseech thee, O Lord, from all evils, past, present, and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed, glorious, and ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, that of the that of thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and Andrew and Aidan, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time, that by the help of thy mercy, we never be yet free from sin, safe from all disquietude. To the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit liveth the reign of God, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with us, prayer. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crowns on this thy table. But thou art the same, Lord, is property is called as our mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with his most precious blood, and we may ever more dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. God, the only who taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I'm not worthy of the justice of under my roof, but to speak the word of my life, so I need to be 
body of our Lord Jesus Christ, that was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, though shed for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. and the man within me. Whom this journal is actually have refresh.
Lord be with you. And the Holy Spirit. Peace of God.